Good afternoon, Stacy. It's Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. I want to make this video for you to tell you about this Forest River Cherokee Gray Wolf 26 BH that we discussed on the phone. Now, the particular one that you inquired about did sell, but I talked to my sales manager, and because we do want to earn your business, we're able to get you the same price that we discussed on this floor plan that I'm about to show you here. All right, so starting out up front on this RV, great thing about it, it does come with an electric tongue jack. And it does have a light here that will help you hook and unhook in all lighting conditions. This is going to save your arm from having to crank manually. Um, so that is included on this unit. Also, it does have two large propane tanks up front. So it's plenty of juice for a weekend getaway for your um, stove, oven, and gas and electric water heater. It does have a diamond plate up front to protect you from rocks and debris whenever you're going down the road. It is prepped for solar panels as well. So if you want to go dry camping, you can purchase a uh, solar panel kit like this to keep your lights on and keep your battery charged. It has a great amount of storage up front over here. And also included on this RV is an electric awning. So same thing with the electric tongue jack. You don't have to manually open it and close it. Makes life a lot easier. Great thing about this RV, it does have a friction hinge door. So you'll see that some other RVs, like older ones and more affordable ones, they have the uh, plastic pieces here and here, and those tend to become brittle and break over time, but with this friction hinge door, whenever the wind comes, it just easily uh, opens or closes so that it doesn't slam against your RV. In addition to this, it does have a screen door. The great thing about the screen door on our RV is that um, it does have a patented door opening system. So if you go dry camping and you want to cross ventilate, all you have to do is use this here and you can easily open and uh, close your door without letting any bugs in. Also, it does have an extra large door handle. So some RVs have a tiny little door handle here, but this one really makes it easy. Uh, it's a trifold, so you can move it here, have it here, or whenever you're uh, traveling, move it that way. And it makes it easy for people of all ages to get in and out of your RV. In addition to this, it does have the step above steps. People really like these steps because they're like a fifth wheel. They're resistant to rust because they are aluminum and they look really sharp. They're really sturdy too. There's not any give. Uh, you can adjust the feet on the bottom to all different terrain. Uh, so that way it's really sturdy and it's not flimsy like the other styles that are out there. Also, you can mount a TV out here because it does have grounded electrical connections. You have your ins and outs for your TV. Uh, your TV would go right here. And it does have marine grade speakers with LED lights as well. So if you want to listen to music or enjoy the game out here, you can underneath your electric awning. And also for storage, uh, this is underneath the uh, bunk area. So as you see, that entire bunk area is storage. Really great to have. In addition to that, you have a cargo rack that's rated for 200 pounds. So you can put a generator or a small ice chest out here uh, for extra storage as well. Your spare tire is going to be located on the back. It is prepped for a backup camera as well. So if you want to add one for safety, um, it makes it a lot easier whenever you're towing. Coming around this way, it does have an outside shower with hot and cold water. So if you want to hose off your feet before you go in while you're at the beach, you can keep your feet clean. So that way it requires less uh, cleaning inside your RV. Important thing about this RV, it does have a black tank flush. So the reason why that's important is that if you don't have a black tank flush, um, you have to get a wand and stick it down a toilet, get your hands dirty, or do the old ice trick when you're going down the road. But this black tank flush reduces smell. It also gives you more accurate reading on your uh, tank level. The city water connection, that's if you're at an RV park or you have constant water supply, so you have continuous water. On the left, you have a fresh water connection, so if you want to go dry camping, you can take potable water with you no matter where you go. This RV has one AC, so it is a 30 amp service. That's where your power is located. This is the access for the refrigerator. Uh, great thing about our RV, it does have a range hood and this will work uh, just like the one at home to vent fumes uh, while you're cooking. I'll go more in depth into that as we go inside. This is the exhaust for the furnace, propane furnace. This is your cable inlet if you want to hook up cable. It's nice and easy. And this is where the six gallon gas and electric water heater is located. And having the gas and electric you can have hot water with you no matter where you go as long as you have uh, power or propane. So now we can go inside. All 
Alrighty, let me give you a 360 view here. There we go. So the great thing about this 26 BHSE, um, as I as I recall that you said on the phone, it is very affordable. Uh, but we do deck ours out with all the available packages. So the important thing about this one, uh, it does not have a slide, but it still is very roomy. Uh, this RV is right around 30 feet total. Um, good thing about it, you have two wards on each side to store clothes, and you have overhead storage as well. Um, as you saw outside, there's storage underneath the bed, and I can show you that here. Great amount of storage there for totes or whatever you need. And also, it does have a privacy curtain here. So if you have guests with you, you can get a little bit of privacy in the bedroom by using this curtain. There we go. And then also, it does have a jackknife sofa. And the important thing about the jackknife sofa is that it does have USB lights that are cup holders with uh, USB chargers. So you can, you can keep your devices charged and keep your drinks conveniently located wherever you are. This turns right into a bed to sleep uh, one adult or two children. And you do have storage underneath here as well. This is the kitchen area. And you have some overhead storage here. You also have a stainless steel microwave that is a residential power. So it takes less time to heat food. This is the range hood that I was telling you about outside. Uh, if you're cooking eggs and bacon in the morning and you don't want your coach to smell like it all day long, you can use this vent to vent outside. It actually works. It's not just there for looks like some are. Uh, this is the brand new Furion stove and oven. RVs have come so long the time that they've been around. But one of the biggest things with this stove and oven is that uh, it has igniters not only on the stove top, but also in the oven. So you'll <clears throat> see a lot out there where you have to manually light them, but not with this one. Also, as with the other LED lights, you have the pretty blue lights you can turn off and on. Um, also, this is a three burner, not a four burner like the older styles, so it's more efficient because you can use any regular pots and pans. Uh, with a four burner, you had to get specialty pots and pans, but with these, um, having the three burners, the back two are for simmering, the front one's for boiling, and you also have this glass insert to give you extra counter space as well. Great thing about the sink is that it is a residential style, and you can use this here to easily wash dishes or vegetables, whatever you need. Also, the uh, sink is a large one-piece undermount sink. The one, uh, reason why that's important is it has uh, no lip here, so you can easily clean everything off. Um, and then also the stainless steel is more resistant to uh, bacteria. It's not going to capture bacteria like plastic wood, and it's not going to stain like plastic wood either. Great thing about the fridge, it's an 8 cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator. So same thing with uh, your water heater, as long as you have power or you have propane, you can keep your food cool no matter where you go. Plenty of room there. And this is the uh, medicine cabinet. And you have grounded power and uh, a sink here. Also storage underneath the sink. Here's the bathroom. You have a large tub with the shower head and a skylight. So you really have plenty of room here. I'm about six feet tall. So with this one, uh, you do have extra headroom left over. And another great thing about this RV, it does have a fantastic vent. So if you, uh, before you leave for a trip, if you open this vent and have it on and also um, have a window open, you can keep it 20 degrees cooler in here. That way whenever you arrive to Somerville, it takes less time for the air conditioner to catch up to cool it down. Here are the bunks in the back. You have a single bunk on top with storage. It's got a latch here so it doesn't just slide right open when you're going down the road storage there and you also have storage right here and these are teddy bear mattresses uh, so they are very comfortable soft to the touch you have a double bunk here and as I showed you outside this is storage underneath that double bunk so that entire bed is storage uh, this is where you can put your TV the great thing about our TV mounts you can pull this right out and bring it to the TV that's outside so it's really easy if you want to move from inside to outside with the same TV you don't have to buy two separate ones um, you have the power, uh, cable, and uh, uh, RCA jacks there. 
great thing about this RV, it does come with a uh, HD antenna so you can catch all the local channels. And also, in regard to the AC, uh, it is ducted so it will keep the entire uh, unit cool having the, uh, these ducts throughout. You have overhead storage here. This is the dinette where you can easily seat four people, um, enjoy breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or play a card game, whatever you'd like to do. And there is also uh, storage underneath here as well if you pull those boards out. This is a radio. It's an all-in-one AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth. It also has an auxiliary output, headphone input, and USB, so you can really play uh, nearly anything through it. As you see here, you can also link your phone via an app to control this radio. Uh, the awning control is here for the electric awning. You have light switches here, and this is how you monitor your tanks right here. All right, Stacy against Nico from Cliff Jones RV and Sealy. This is the uh, 26 BH you inquired about. As you said, we do have other units available. Um, please feel free to give me a call if you have any questions. 979-253-2611. Thanks so much for watching.